Peter, right? He had to give me a I was like, bro, you My everybody is on a cruise. Dang. Okay. Do you guys remember how to solve these with logs? Do you remember logarithms? So, if we're missing the exponent, there's not like a button we can push to solve, but there is the log function. So, um, how do we write this in log form? Yeah. Okay. Do you guys remember ACB? No. Oh, wait, yeah. A, B, C, A, one, B, X. Right. Log base 3 of 81 equals X. So, and then we can plug this in our calculator. Most calculators can change their base unless you have kind of a basic one. Everybody's got a good calculator though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okie dokie. And then if you have to go the other way, like, you guys, do you guys know what this would be, by the way? Probably not. Alright, so how would I write this, it's not four, how would I write this in exponential form? Yeah, it's three. It's A, C, B. So it's two to the X equals eight. So it is three because two to the third is eight. So there we go. Okay, you guys remember? It's all coming back to you now? Okay, number one is just write in exponential form, kind of like what I just The LM? L N yes. Uh, I was gonna start some number seven, but that's not a big deal. L N just means the base is E. Okay, so what would A B? It'd be four. Four to the second. And you can kind of check your work because you know that makes sense. Four to the second does equal sixteen. Uh, okay, there is no B. Never mind. Number three. Three. Oh, gosh. Gosh. Uh, how about this one? Somebody besides Hope. Uh, Eli. You know what this one would be? Oh, Caden's gone. So you go the first and then the last and the middle. A, C, B. Six to the negative two plus one over three. Uh, number five, log a thousand. Okay, I have not mentioned this today, so if you remember it, it'd be from last year. Okay, when they don't write a base right here, what's right here? Ten. And this is called the common logarithm. So what would this be in exponential form? it but if it says L in okay this is called the common log number five number seven is called the natural log uh, but what would the base be on this one E so this is E to the 2.1 equals
Okay, 9a, what does it mean to say that x is the common logarithm of n? Uh, okay, what's, how do we write common log? Just like with the log. Common logarithm, I just said this for number five, just means the base is 10, but uh, the common logarithm of n is x. Okay, and what would this be in the common logarithm of n is x? What would this be in exponential form? Yeah, that's what they actually wanted. Solve. 10 to the x equals 7. Okay, so if it starts in exponential form, basically you have to change it to a log, so you can plug it in your calculator to solve it. If it starts in uh, log form, and you, they tell you to solve it, you're probably going to have to change it to exponential form. Just change it to the other. So this is log... 7. No. A, C, B. Log base 10, well... Actually, this would just be the common log, so you don't really need to write log here, but log base 10 of 7 equals x. So your calculator, you could actually just plug in log of 7 because the 10 would be implied there. How many decimal places are we going? Doesn't tell us, does it? They went to two decimal places. Oh, it does say the hundreds, yeah. Okay, yeah, two decimal places. Okay, and then, so the other one is 10 to the x equals 0.562. Same thing, log base 10 of 0.562, or just common log 0.562. Look, I made a little heart. Isn't that cute? I can't grab it. It's a part of the... Maybe I can disconnect everything. Number 11, no, there's a C. Okay, C, what does it mean to say that X is the natural logarithm of E? Okay, natural logarithm, changed it to exponential form. Wait. X is the natural log oh sorry I read that wrong. X is the natural logarithm of n. Natural logarithm of n is x. What would this be in exponential form? What's the base right here? No, it's L N. E. E to the X equals N. That's what they put. Proceed. Alright, solve e to the x equals 12. Okay, so since this is an e, what, what kind of logarithm are we going to use? Instead of putting log base e, we're going to put natural log of 12. That will give us x. 
And then the second part is the same thing. It's just natural log of 0.06. Still going to the hundreds place. Okay, are we done yet with that number nine? That took a long time. 11, we made it. We're not gonna take it. Okay, on, on 11, they want us to not use a calculator. No problem, right? Okay. So right here, what's the base, guys? 10. 10. So this means 10 to the what equals 100. 10 to the what power is 100? Girls, pay attention to this. Eyeballs up here. 10 to the what equals 100? Two. 10 squared is 100. So if they do common logarithm of 10,000, 10 to the what is 10,000? Yeah, four. Four, yeah. Each time you log. I got your snack card by hand and coffee. I couldn't find the card? Well, no, it's kind of hard to get down the hill without everything sliding off. So, for hand delivery. Yeah, that's pumpkin. You guys know what this one is? 10 to the what? What's how do you say 0 0.01 like correctly? Right. So instead of 10 to the second, this is 10 to the negative second. So this is negative two. Okay. Just the king. I'm doing logarithms. Of logarithms. And if you gotta be the king of something, that's what you want to be. <laughs> okay, so this one is actually tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousandths. This is one out of ten thousand. So instead of four, it's going to be negative four. Whoa. Dude, it's not. I'm surprised I went from really hard to like this. This is not fun. I mean, this is not fair. This is fun. Okay. So 13 would be 3 to the what equals 9? 2. 2. B would be 3 to the log of base 3 of 27. So 3 to the what equals 27? 3. Uh, C is log base 3 of 243. Okay, that's getting large. So 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81, times 3 is 243. So it takes 5 of them to make it. To make it. D. Yeah. I kind of need something to point out though. So on this one, it's a little bit different. Any ideas? 
This you is switch one to the other side. Like no. Eight. It's three to the what equals three to the eight. Eight. Yeah. It might sound complicated, but it's just three to the what equals three to the eight. Fifteen base four. Do you guys know your fours? Four to the what is sixty-four. Four. Do you guys know this one? Four times four is sixteen. Sixteen times four. It only takes three. Yeah, I'm not really. You don't have to show work on this one because there's no work to show, but. If I'm just copying the problem down, that's not really work. But so this is almost the same as B A, but it's one over sixty-four. So what's the exponent? Negative, Negative two. Okay. This one's a little bit confusing. Lots of fours on this one. So any ideas on this one? There is kind of an easy trick. There is an easy mode on this one. Okay, the easy way to do this is, what is this in exponential form? This is four to the what power? One to the four. It's four to the one four. So this means four to the what equals four to the one four. One four. Four to the what equals four to the one fourth. Four to the one fourth equals four to the one fourth. Anyway, it's one fourth. D. Log base four. One. So four to the what equals one? Zero. zero. Anything to the zero equals one. Uh, <laughs> Alright, this one's actually pretty similar. You guys know this one? E to the what equals one? Zero. Ding, ding, ding. Log of anything, log base anything of one equals zero. Uh, let's see, log, natural, yeah, natural log, e squared. So this means base e, e to the what equals e squared? No, e to the what equals e squared, e to the second, so e to the two equals e squared. Uh, e to the, the e to the what equals one over e. How do we make it flip upside down? Negative exponent. Yeah, it's negative one. Okay. Square root square root of e is e to the what power? One half. So e to the what equals e to the one half? One half. In years past, I've always gone to 20 or 22, but. No, I was just like, it's too much of a hassle. It's not worth it. And it's too. Unique of a problem, I guess I'd say it that way.